Hi there, I'm going to do a video for a friend on how to move bass notes over chords. This is a really cool songwriting device that makes for some really beautiful emotional music. So uh, have fun with this, write some songs. We're going to work with the D chord. We're in the key of D, the key of D major. When we talk about D major, the family that we're in, uh, who typically shows up for dinner at the D household but G and A. So D, G, and A. All part of one big happy family with E as the big daddy, the head of the household. Now if you're wondering how I figured that out, how I knew who was uh, part of that family, that's the subject for another video. Uh, it's definitely something you want to learn about, but for this video we'll just know that those are the two chord changes. Now something else we also know about a D chord, uh, the key of D, is that it has a scale and that's the D major scale. So let's go ahead and play that and learn what it is. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Let's do that again. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, and D. Now let's play that on the guitar. Now since my lowest D note on the guitar is right here, that's the third string open position, that's the lowest note I can start with if I'm starting a D scale on D. So I'm going to start there and then I'm going to continue the scale. So D, E, that's the low string, open position, F sharp, low string, second fret, G, low string, third fret, A, second string, open position, B, second string, second fret, and then finally C sharp, fourth or second string, fourth fret, and we finally end it back on D. And that's again the same position, open position on the third string. So let's do that again a little faster. D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. Now if you didn't get that, go ahead and rewind the video right now and we'll learn the notes until you're comfortable. Next, we're going to actually walk that scale backwards. D, same notes, although in this case I'm using the second string fifth fret, which is the same as the open. You know that from tuning. So starting on D, fourth fret, C sharp, second fret, B, open position A, low string, third fret, G, low string, second fret F sharp and an E a little faster of course end on D D C sharp B A G F sharp E D D Oop, messed up there so we end on D the reason I go backwards and forwards is because when we're talking about moving bass notes over the top of chords sometimes we move sequentially backwards and sequentially forwards so it's a good idea for you to be comfortable with playing the scale backwards and forwards on your guitar now let's let you hear a little bit about how some of this might sound so I'm going to take a D chord first of all and I'm going to move the bass line now down one to C sharp ah, kind of pretty right? It sounds nice Let's move the bass note down to a B. That sounds really pretty too. Now I'll show you how to do all these a little bit later. A. Again, kind of pretty, more solid, not as weird as the last two. How about a G? That one's actually really pretty too. And then an F sharp. How about an E? Not bad, a little weird. Let's resolve it back to a D. So pretty cool. You just heard some different what we call voicings 
for D and some different bass notes associated with a D. Uh, it makes for, again, some very emotional and beautiful chords. Now, how do I form those? Um, you'll notice that I'm using a couple tricks here. My traditional D, when I go to the C sharp, I'm going to use my pinky on the fourth fret. This may be a little hard for you to grip at first, but once you get used to it, it's not a bad chord, and it's a good one to practice strengthening the, the pinky. My next uh, chord is a D still, but I'm going to put a B over it. And when I do that, I'm going to do a little trick and that is I'm going to switch the index finger and my middle finger. So my index finger is right now on the fourth string down, second fret. I'm going to put my middle finger there. And then now my index finger is free so that I can put it on the B. So we get this. Now it so happens I left a string, I kind of abandoned the E string which was covered by my middle finger before. But that's okay, we can even play it. Because that note E is actually a legal note in a D chord. It makes the chord a D second, which is a really beautiful chord, but it's nonetheless a legal chord in our scale. It sounds beautiful, so hey, let's just go with it and have that chord. Now our A, A bass note over a D, we just open up and use the lowest note open position on the fifth string. Now how about a G? Now a G I'm going to switch a little bit again. I'm going to go back to my traditional D chord. Now I'm going to take the middle finger, don't mean to flip you off there, nothing personal, and I'm going to move it up to the G. So again it's kind of like that uh, same idea with the B except we're leaving the these two fingers, the index and the third finger, in their normal positions and just moving that middle finger up to the G. Now for the F sharp, we're going to actually use the same device we used on the B, and we're going to take the middle finger, put it on the fourth string down, second fret, and then move the index finger that is now freed up to the F sharp. Pretty sounding chord, right? And then finally we'll just open up, take that index finger off for that low E note, and then back to D. So if we put those together, So I'm going to play that one more time and try to put my hand a little closer and just play it at a really slow speed and you can rewind this and practice playing that. One more time. Pretty, huh? You could write a song based off of that.